Good evening, my friends, and welcome back to the next episode of Zelda Wind Waker. Last time out, we got our last Triforce chart, and we found two Triforce pieces. Now we need six more, but unfortunately the barrier to us getting six more is we need those charts deciphered. The barrier to getting those charts deciphered, we need 400 rupees per chart. So we're going side questing, my friends. We're going side questing. And the first thing we're going to do is we are going to start off with looking through our treasure chart. Okay. Let's see. Where are we going? We're, we're just basically going to knock off as many of these as possible. Incidentally, we have been looking through uh, the notes that we've been diligently keeping on what the uh, fish has been telling us. We've done most of these. The only ones we've not done is about the pictograph man having legendary pictographs in his safe. And also, under some black soil is some serious treasure on Outset Island, as well as a fairy that we've not been to see yet. Now, I wonder if this fairy will actually give us a, a final wallet upgrade. Maybe. I don't know. So maybe that's one to go and check out. First of all, though, we're going to go check out these charts. Okay. Where are... Whoops. No, that was the wrong button. There it is. We're going to Rock Spire Isle, first of all. Probably great for Shire. So Rock Spire is directly north. So. That was a full moon as well. So let's see if we can get on the land. Let's see if we can get on the land pretty quickly. Rock Spire Isle, it's directly north. Uh, slightly this way. Is it that one, in fact? In which case, we will get the wind changed. Go on. So yeah, we are we are side questing away today. So these are probably going to be a few pretty chill episodes that we're going to run back to back. I'm thinking of ideas of what we could do to pass the time whilst we're sailing. And I'm sort of thinking back to... Uh, do you remember that episode of Hollow Knight we did? Where we were going through... Um, Sun Tzu's The Art of War. Now that was a good one. So I'm thinking maybe some more bite-sized philosophy. But uh, I don't have anything to hand today. Maybe for next episode. We'll see how long it seems to take to get us to a thousand rupees. Because I don't literally just want to grind for it. Let's go and do some side quests. right? Because like... Probably the fastest, gameplay time-wise, to do it would be to literally just sit and fire arrows at our fish friend over and over again until we decease from boredom. Like, we can get about 80 rupees out of go playing that game. So to get 400 of them requires you to do it about five times at a time. Um... Is that the kind of game we want to play? Nah, we'd much rather be treasure hunting. That's a little bit more time-consuming, though. So, I figure... Maybe we'll, maybe we'll do some uh, reading in the meantime. Okay, lovely. Piece of heart. I mean, this is also levelling us up in, in time for the final boss as well. Next chart. Oh, wait. We also said... 
Yep, get out of here. Get out of here. I need to see where where's the moon at? There we go. Uh is that gonna count if it's behind the cloud? It's a good spot. Uh it's getting cloudier and cloudier though. Maybe. I don't know. Basically, all we need is this. Right. So. Oh, oh, oh. Let's take a photo. Yes, save it. Let's see if either of those work for us for the Lady on Windfall. It's a bit cloudy. It's a bit raining. We'll see if she holds that against us. Next chart. It started us off as Triforce charts again. But that's not where we were. Right. Heart-shaped island. Mm, that's not Northern Fairy Island, I don't think. Or maybe it is. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, no. There it is. Thorned Fairy Island. That's where we're going. Ah, probably Forest Haven. You know what? Uh, ba -da 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 -ba -da -da -da. I suddenly twigged. Obviously, we should also be picking up all of these as we go along, because this is literally free money on the way. Because each of these tends to have like between 10 and 50 rupees in them. Yeah, so we want to be collecting some of those. Ooh, actually, 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 actually. Have we even done Bomb Island yet? Have we done Bomb Island? Well, it doesn't look like there's a big rock on the top of Bomb Island, so it looks like we might have done. I remember we were going to go back to Bomb Island at one point. I mean, the game's got to encourage you to do side quests somehow, right? Nice. That is really great. So, yeah, it, I mean, like, if we can be... If we can continue to be this lucky as we go, it shan't actually be terribly long. It looks like we've done Bomb Island. Oh, yeah, do you know what? I have actually ticked it off our list, so we did, we did go and do that. Uh, is that Thorn Fairy Island over there? Yeah, it kind of looks like it, doesn't it? It's that sort of seashell, seashell shaped, seashell shaped island.
I still think it's amazing that they managed to create this with no loading screens. You know, the fact that you can see these are like, yes, I understand it's just a silhouette. It's like a it's like a single polygon silhouette or whatever that just gets bigger or smaller until it gets swapped out. But um, I still think it's a real triumph how they've, how they've done it. Well, that is what we're looking for right there. Mm. Overshot it just a touch. Fine. I can't believe he actually hit us. Those things never hit you. Oh my word. Did I just shoot his bomb straight out of the air? Come on. Okay, I'm gonna get you, I'm gonna get you. Right. It's much easier if you get closer to them because you can just overwhelm them with overwhelming firepower. There we go, right. Back to where we were. I take it incredibly personally. <laughs> I take it incredibly personally that you knocked me off my boat. <laughs> oh, great. Next chart. Again, it's defaulted us back to Triforce chart one. Not not where we want to be, to be honest. Right, so that's where we were. Treasure chart six. Well, that looks like it's going to be in six I reef, I guess. Um... I mean, let's be honest, it's either going to be 6i or 4i, and the way it's... Oh, it's literally called TDF's Oasis now. That's fun. I never realised that. Yeah, it's probably going to be 6i Reef, so just straight west. Probably quickest, literally, to just sail it. It's right in the middle of the map. So, yeah, we'll go with that. Well, I mean, we'll see if we can... Oh, no. Uh, I mean, there must there must be a closer spot because we're right on the edge of the map here. Ah, oh, yeah, no, nice, nice, nice tower. Of course. Thumb slipped off the controller. The old GameCube controller, the uh, the the second thumbstick, the C stick, is literally a stick. It doesn't really have too much grip on it. Hmm. There's the reef. So let's get prepped with some uh, bombs. What happens to our boat if we hit a tornado? Like a little cyclone. 
not actually tried that yet. So looking at the chart, the entrance to Six Eye Reef uh, is going to be on this side. And we are trying to get inside the reef, so we're preparing for fighting. I mean, to be fair, maybe these reefs, because we have seen that these reefs have a lot of stuff, like, in them. So... Barely get our boat turned. No, don't talk to him. I know. Bro, get in. Right. Tell you what, these two are like the most accurate boats we've ever come across so far. Oh. We can't really get going this way. Oh, wow, he properly got us there. Hey, okay, come on. Nice. Well, we're definitely going to make sure we collect as much stuff as possible from in here. Okay, first question, is that our treasure chart? It is our treasure chart. Okay, there's another chart just... There's another thing just here, which we can try and get. We're going to try and get all the goodies from the reef, because hopefully this is actually just full of rupees. Nice, there's another 50. Cool, do you reckon there's a 50 in each corner? see one over in that corner just yet. Okay, another 20. 20, not bad. Oh, great, 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 great. 
let's try and avoid getting disturbed. Ah, oh, no. Round about there, I think. Hey, that's really good. That is, that is really great. That is really great. And there's another one. There's another one just there. Well, maybe we should be going and visiting these other reefs, then. That might actually be the quickest way to get some rupees, to be honest. <laughs> Yellow. Okay, that's ten. Fine. Not too shabby, but it's not as if I'm going to write to my grandma about that amazing haul. Okay, dokie. Well... With that, let's get a tingle and get a chart um, deciphered. And do you know what? I'm also going to take Six Eye Reef and tick it off. You know, just to the west of the Six Eye Reef is the Cyclops Reef. And that's probably, like, very much the same. I wonder what the purpose of Tingle Island is, you know? Like, why does he have these two, like, uh, rotating this around? Oh, Mr. Fairy, I've been longing to see you, sir. What should we play? What do you want to play? What? You're not here to play? Mmm. Sir, have you found a chart? Splendid, splendid. Okay, 398 rupees. Take your money, sir. Don't have the money, I'm afraid. Don't have the money. Uh, let's have a look at where that is on the map, shall we? We are going to be looking at... Yeah. Um... That's a good question. What are we looking at there? Flight control platform. That, that just looks like a little bottle, doesn't it? So it's just a, it's just a little knobbly island. What? Yeah. Ah, there it is. It's Stone Watcher Island. Great. Off we go. No, don't talk to him. Don't talk to him. Are you poor? Well, I guess that's fine. Hmm. Hmm. Ah, oh, come on, where's my boat? Okay, straight south, please. Okay, we can't go to Stone Watcher directly, but we can go to Breakfish. Fish. 
We pro should probably also try and hit up a beetle shop and see about um, getting some more bombs, actually. Because that's going to be our limiting our ability to hit up the reefs. It's going to be that we're actually going to run out of bombs. And that would be awkward, wouldn't it? <laughs> okay. So, if we get this piece of Triforce, we'll have three. Five to go. Um, do we want to take this moment as an opportunity to go back to Outset Island and see about... about there, um, and see about getting this last fairy. Could be a good shout. Or maybe we save that for next episode and we continue with the treasure charts for now. Yeah, let's save that for next episode and continue with the treasure charts. So, what next? Well, that's going to be 5 I Reef. Bit low on bombs. Bit low on bombs. That's Tower of the Gods. That would be an easy one to go and get. And do my eyes deceive me? Is that not... Oh, no, 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 no. I think that's Dragon Roost Island. Isn't it? Actually, which island is that? It's kind of not terribly obvious. Hmm. Okay. Well, <clears throat> Five Eye Reef is literally just southwest of here. So. Running out of bombs or not, let's go and deal with it. Quick check. You enter it from the bottom. So that means we probably want to sail past it, flip the wind, and then go upwards, right? Because I don't want to be tacking the wind at the point where it's like, uh, I've got people shooting at me. Do you think it's worth doing the Song of Passing, actually, because the, uh, the stuff only appears at the moment, doesn't it? There we go. Because I want the stuff to glow in the water. And I vaguely recall one of these reefs had loads of stuff. Might even be this one. Had loads of stuff on the outside of the reef. Yeah, there we go. Oh, yeah, jackpot. Look at all this stuff, huh? Nice. 
nice. That seems to take a really long time to, uh, to pull up there. I think it might be quicker to cruise it rather than try and use the sail to give you a kick of momentum. So even if you put the sail away like straight away, it's just a little bit too hard to control that, uh, that momentum kick. Because as soon as you take the sail away, you're still going at the same speed. It feels like the sail kicks you to a high velocity instantaneously. But then when you put the sail away, it actually does take quite a while for you to uh, slow down. It's around about there. Okay, so we had a 50, a 50, a 20, uh, a 10. Great, that's 180. So we're going to try and get in there. I think what I might do is I might set the wind at a diagonal. So that we're not full speed one direction and zero speed another. Do you know what I mean? Let's also get the bombs out ready. There we go. Ah, well, I need the song of passing again to get my uh, to get the glows back, don't I? Do I have enough time to actually just get this out of the water right here? Happy with that. Oh, just in time as well. We will want to have a waker. Turn us back to night, just in case there's any other treasure in here that's worth getting. Like at the moment, I don't really see anything else glowing in here. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I don't really see it. It's 
So I'm going to mark 5 I Reef as being done. There it is. Tick, tick. And we can have a look for our next chart. Ah, oh, whilst we're here, should we just go? Whilst we're here, should we just go to Outset Island? We could do. Ah, I mean, we'd fast travel there anyway, right? Tower of the Gods uh, has the next treasure chart. We remember that because we saw it with our looking eyes earlier. So we're somewhere around the back here. There we go. Round about there. That might not be far enough. Oh no, we got it just about. Hang on a second. That gives us 800 rupees, doesn't it? So in that case, we need to go back to Tingle, get two more deciphers done. Because I don't want to accidentally hit the top. Because if now, if we were to pick up another 200 rupees, we would hit the top of our wallet again, wouldn't we? So we go to Tingle, get the next two translated. If it was five translated, three remaining. Okay. Get through his get through his uh, his preamble here. Okay, next. Next thing. Do we want to check out then where those two new Triforces are? Forsaken Fortress, that's what it was. That's where one of the one of the ones is. Uh what's that one though? It's not windfall, it's not outset. Oh no, it is outset. Right, okay, so one of them's on outset. Okay. And the other one is on hmm. Now I know we can just look at Ah, there we go. Cliff Plateau. Let's go collect those.
Okay, uh, yeah, we want that direction. The cliff plateau. I think it's directly east of us. Yes, quite right. So we're going to be five down, three to go at this point. Yeah. Hopefully we've got time before someone bonks our boat. Nah, just thought maybe I'd notice something there, but I don't I don't think so. Occasionally, occasionally I think about this drawing here, which we took as a screenshot out of um Terra's like cabin, you know. I'm not even sure which islands those are, though, to be fair. Like, there might not even be anything. I mean, it probably is a reference to something. Hey, well, there we go. Uh, we, we are going to need the Wind Waker. Our cyclone has dropped us miles from shore. Wow, we got it. It wasn't even singing at us. Three more. Three more. However... Oh, 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 oh. Wait, wait, wait. Let's get a beetle. Right, because for a start, if he has bombs, I want some. But also, I'm supposed to show him my silver membership card. I don't know if he's going to give me anything. You want to use your complimentary ID? Okay, here it goes. You are so great! Absolutely fantastic! Incredible! And there you go. Isn't it nice to be complimented once in a while? It is, isn't it? Oh. Wow. That was definitely a thing. Thank you. Okay. Bye. Yes, I realise we're using rupees to buy the bombs, but 30 bombs for 30 rupees is like, it's a pretty good price, to be fair, and uh, probably going to need them if we go and do more reefs. First, though, let's have a think about where I'm going to find a fairy here. And if I were to guess, it would probably be... It would probably be oh, up in the woods, I'd have thought. Probably. Oh no, oh no. My beloved Outset Island has been corrupted by Ganon's magic. That's no good at all. Oh. 
So there's also apparently some black dirt that is hiding great treasure. We don't really have any... Oh no, these guys! They are definitely not the one. Yeah, now we don't really have any way of digging as such. I don't know. It's got to be in the forest though, right? If I were the fairy, that's where I would be. For sure. And with a favourable wind behind us, we can cross this gap easily. <laughs> now, there is a bit over there, but that tree looks decidedly flat. So I'm going to suggest you're not actually supposed to get there. But let's see what we can find in here, shall we? Uh, let's grab the hook shot. Aha, aha, we have a thing that we can bomb. Ah, from long, long ago, but clearly we'd forgotten about. Check it out. What does it say? Fairy Fountain Sight. So what do you reckon the fairy's going to give us? To be fair, if she doubles our wallet size and fills it for us, we're pretty happy with that. <laughs> <laughs> Young waker of the winds, allow me to aid you in your quest. What are we going to get? I mean, we've got 99 bombs, we've got 99 arrows, we're full on our magic bar. Oh, that's... That would have been really nice to have earlier. Oh... That would have been really nice to have when we were spending hours just with a thousand rupees maxed out. Yeah, fine. Oh, we got to go that way, don't we? Well, do you know what? Yes, we've got to go that way, but no, we don't have to, like, do it that way, right? I'm not really that interested in fighting these guys, though, to be honest. But that's good, though. 5,000 rupees. Alright. It means that we will be able to get the 1,200 we need in one go 
and then just go back to Tingle in one go. Well, my friends, that is going to be all we have time for for today's episode of Zelda The Wind Waker. I hope you are enjoying this series. If you are, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Next episode, we have got a few more treasure charts to obtain. 1200 rupees, then we can go and decipher the last three charts, go get the last three Triforce pieces, and then maybe. We're at the final boss of the game. Who knows? I will see you next time. Bye for now.